Assalamualaikum and good day. In this video, we're going to learn about Java Beans and GSP. We're going to cover about three subtopics. The first one, how GSP tag can be used with Java Beans. The second one is basic GSP tags. Third one is example of Java Beans with GSP tag. Before that, let's review what is Java Beans. So a Java bean is an ordinary Java class that confirms to the following rules. First, a Java bean should have a default constructor with no arguments. Second, a Java bean should provide getter and setter methods. Third, a Java bean should implement java.io.serializable in the base. The Java bean provides a name attribute that can be accessed by the user of the object. The attribute can be any data type including classes that unify it. In our case, the user of the object is JSP. Let's look at assessing Java Bean in JSP. There are three basic JSP tags that allow us to access Java Bean within JSP. First, use bin. So this tag makes Java Bean available locally to use within a JSP file. Second, set property. So this tag modifies the value of property bin. Third one is get property, where this tag access the value of the property bin. Next, let's look in detail what is use bin tag. So basically, use bin tag action declares a Java bin for use in a JSP. Once declared, the bin becomes a scripting variable that can be accessed by both scripting elements and other custom tags used in the JSP. The three parameters are ID scope and class so the id parameter is to set an identifier that can be referred within jsp the scope is to set how long the bin available in application the class is referred to the class name of java bin here i provide the javascriptlet equivalent to the jsp use bin id so note that you can see the java will use the existing object if the object is available and the java code will instantiate new object if the object is not available so let's look at the example of the use bin tag so take a look at the three parameters that were set id scope class so basically id equal to the bin object scope equal to session class equal to Model is the package, employee bin is the class name. So here I provide the JavaScriptlet equivalent. The employee bin equal to employee and employee bin, session, get attribute, employee. So basically, this is to check whether the object is created or not. If not created, so it will instantiate new object of employee bin. So there are also few rules that you need to know. For you to use the use bin tag. The first rule is JSP bin tags use XML syntax. You must include a slash to close the tag. The scope is to control how long the bin object is available. So there are four types of scope. First is application, where all components that have access to servlet context object. And these objects are accessible from pages and also is belong to the same application. Second session, all components with access to the current session object, where the object is accessible from pages belonging to the same session. Third, request, all components with access to current request object and object are accessible from pages processing the request. Fourth, page, so basically within the current page only, so objects are accessible only within pages where they were created. Next, let's move on to set property. So the syntax starts with set property, name equal to bin ID, property equal to property name, value equal to value. So basically, it has three parameters: name, which is should match with the bin ID, property the property name, and value is the value for the property. Here, I provide the JavaScript equivalent where this is an object and calling a method set property name with passing the value. Here we have an example of the set property tag for employee bin. Take a look at the three parameters that were set. Name, and then the property, 
and the value. So basically here I provide also the JavaScript equivalent. Employee where is this an object and then this is the method set first name with passing the value. Now let's move on to set property rules. So there are a few rules that you need to know using the JSP use bin tag. First, JSP bin tags use XML syntax that must include a slash to close the tag. Second, the name attribute of the set property tag must match with the ID in the use bin tag. The set property cannot be used to set null values or an empty string. Next, let's move on to the get property tag. So the syntax starts with JSP get property name equal to bin id property equal to property name basically it have two parameters name which should match with the bin id property which is the property name so here are the javascript equivalent object dot the get property name which is the method right let's look at an example for this so the example this is the same example for employee bin so there are two parameters that were set, name and property. So name here is equal to the bin ID, which is employee, property equal to the first name, which is the data member in the employee bin. So here I give you the same JavaScript equivalent that is same as the JSP get property tag. So it have the object name and then calling the get first method. For get property, there are also few rules that you need to know. First one, JSP bin tags use XML syntax, which you must include a slash to close the tag. The name attribute of the get property tag must match the ID in the use bin tag, and the get property cannot be used to set null values or an empty string. Now let's look at an example of stuff Java bin with JSP. So basically here you have a class named staff implements java.io.serializable and then you have two data members id and full name and then you have a constructor with no argument and then this is our getter and setter method for the data members so this is your java bin to use the java bin you need to write a jsp text so these are the jsp text that you need to right for you to use the java bin class so you start with use bin tag so this is the id which is the staff object and then you set the scope and also the class for set property you need to set three parameters which is the name of the bin id the property and also the value for get property you need to set two parameters the bin object and also the property value all right, I think that's all for now. Please read chapter 6 in my Google site for more details and examples on Java Bean with GSP. Thank you.